Hi everyone, it's Jackie from Rolls Gold Library and I'm very excited to share with everyone uh, with the, I guess, very aesthetically pleasing book, Glossy. And it's basically about Glossier, Gloss Glossier and the history of its founder, Emily Weiss. And I found it quite weird. <laughs> um, weird in the sense that like I never really interacted with Glossy before, like I never used their products, but I've always seen, you know, like ads or people always saying like, this is a clean girl makeup. So when reading this, I was just not confused, but more of like, what is the hype? And so I kind of understand like, oh yeah, thinking back like in the early 2010s, that everyone wanted glossy and I was just like very broke so I could have only afford the bootleg of the bootleg of the bootleg Nukijina or just very simple stuff and also I wasn't really allowed to wear makeup even if it was no makeup makeup uh, growing up so this is kind of like a new thing but I have been to the glossy store before in Los Angeles and did I love the pink but I don't like the prices. I was a broke college student. And I still am. <laughs> so Glossy in itself, having the girl boss mentality of the early 2010s, it is very interesting of how like Weiss, at least how it was presented in the book, was very straightforward and I'm not gonna lie, she had connections in one way or another. And that's where I felt as a person who's obviously don't have connections. I was like, yeah, that's how a lot of people manage to get their money is that they have collect uh, connections one way or another. It's all through networking. And that's one thing that I did manage to get out of is networking, but also just how Glossy as a company both have literal face masks, but also like masks of people on the inside felt that, hey, we appreciate these very cool like flower decor and, you know, very cool samples, but we would like a raise. We would actually like to live in New York or live in Los Angeles or actually just have uh, money so to survive and there was some a uh, quote in this book um, that I'm gonna slightly butcher but there was a point where Emily Weiss has gained a reputation of asking why do you want this role and it was expected for people to just say like Oh, I love this role. I love the company. I want to grow, yada yada. And then in the book, which made me crack up, like I was genuinely laughing, is that along the lines of Emily, there was a former employee that said, Emily Weiss does not realize that people just need a job, a minimum wage job. They just need a job. It was for regarding their. Los Angeles retail space and the employer was just like people just need a job it doesn't really matter uh, what company that they're working for most of the time people just need a job so that's what I found hilarious and also just how it was originally started as a tech company like Lossy was trying to become more of a tech company and how the original website into the gloss eventually became uh, redundant and not that right word like almost a competitor I think that was the word that was used in this book but what I found how throughout everything with my thoughts is just how they're still going on though Emily Weiss has now left the company as CEO she said that she's still the founder and she's going to help out whenever she can but 
how it is meticulous, how everything that she wants is eventually going to be done. And first of all, girl boss of her. <laughs> but just how she's able to get her way one way or another and then see what the either backlash or the repercussions of it. And for me, as since beauty industry is very can be deemed superficial, let's just say that. It is ha interesting how she, they wanted to do a no makeup makeup look and then trying to do with play a, it was like in the early days of the 2020s and nobody really was like okay this is cool some of the stuff could have just been in glossier or this is just not the brand and how did they pivot from it and also just how there are quotes where <laughs> in this book that just absolutely kills me uh, one of the quotes was roughly along the lines of actually let me see I wrote it down uh, I wrote it down in my little journal I love looking at my journal and being like this is this is what I thought was funny it's that You'll be surprised. Perfection, uh, perfectionism was a liability. And I really said that for me as a somewhat a perfectionist, that makes more sense. Uh, now that I realize that I'm out of school, I'm out of undergrad, Week. first of all it hurts me to say that out loud but perfectionism is not always the greatest thing sometimes there are some stuff where it's okay to be like only 99% of it <laughs> is correct instead of 100% and but why you always want perfection and how um, for glossy uh, in the book, they were saying like how some of the products actually came from the fans, from into the gloss, or they're just trying to, like what many companies do is make a dupe. Uh, Glossy was like, well, we can just make it better instead of a dupe. Uh, that's how I interpret it, and how they also just were direct to consumer, like online, and how with retail. Like having a physical store, a lot of people were even more excited. And that's kind of a weird thing for me to think about nowadays is that there are stuff, especially for retail. So Weiss, Emily Weiss, the founder, uh, which is about this book, this book is about her. And this line near the end said, so who is she? Weiss is a complicated woman who is admired more than she is liked. And that is the absolute truth because I, even though I had no connection to Glossier with anything, like as I mentioned before, no products, no nothing, I've always just felt that, oh, there's a woman founded company that lasted this long because all the other girl boss brands were either bought out, sold out, or just kind of failed or turned out to be a scam. So this book, it, I I'm not sure if you can see right here. I forgot to put it on while I was recording. I rated this three out of five, mainly because was it informative? Yes, but did I like it enough to give it a four? Not really. Uh, I love uh, Marissa Meltzer's writing uh, style. They're super funny, but I felt that did I get the information that I wanted? Like, like the inside scoop? Yes. But did I feel like it was life-changing? Not really. So, uh, but it did give me a new perspective. And speaking about new perspective, I appreciate everyone that likes and subscribes uh, on my videos. Uh, I've been noticing there's a lot more people who are watching my videos but have not liked or subscribed, which I highly recommend if you do. It really means a lot to me and it means that I can keep this channel going. As well as if you have any recommendations for books to read, feel free to put them down in the comments. 
thank you everyone for watching my reading journal and i hope to see you soon goodbye